Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to replace the little locking handle on a 2013 Chevy Silverado center console. As you can see, it's broken, does not latch it, so we're going to replace it. Alright, so it appears that it only has four screws to take this main off. I uh, already took two off, we're going to remove the other two. Uh, they're little torques. I think that's what it's called, little torques. So we're going to go ahead and remove the little torque screws, torque screws out of there. And there's two, and that should come right off. All right, I have all four of them off, but now, of course, it's not going to come off as easy. I'm going to need both hands. All right, there it is. Just took a little bit of elbow grease because it has these little locking pins. Uh, right there, right there, everywhere. Anyways, so here's the two screws that we're, we're going to remove. And then this here will sit just like that. Sweet, so let's go ahead and remove those screws. All right, there's both of the screws removed. Drop the broken piece, there it is. Now we're going to put the new piece on there, just like so, but, let me see, I think it's like this, nope, it's like that, but we got to mount that, so I'm going to need both of my hands. Alright, there it is, nice and secured and in place, now all we got to do is just put everything back together, just like so, put that in through there, clip it back in place. Put the four screws back on, and it's set. You see, it's locking now. Sweet. We just gotta put those screws back on. Found that penny, came out of there. Sweet, so let me put the uh, screws back on, and that should be it. All right, all four screws are back on. Everything is nice and secure. Everything is latching, just like how it should. All right, and I'm gonna stop now before I break it, before the customer gets back. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.